Sir Charles Carey is an international speaker and author, and he's also written a song called Who Can Make It Better? It's meant to be an uplifting at song as it speaks to the plight of the world during the pandemic with a message of hope. Sir Charles, I knew you were a man of many talents. I didn't know singing was one of those talents. How long have you been singing for? Seems like I've been singing all of my life. Actually, um, music was my first love, and I discovered uh, the craft of speaking many, many years ago. Okay, all right. So now you've put your talents to good use. You have a new single called Who Can Make It Better. Um, what is this song? What was the inspiration behind it? Honestly, you know, so easy to talk about love and romance. Not that it's bad, of course, but because of the pandemic and what the world was going through, I thought it was very important to you know have a topic that spoke to the plight of the world and to be encouraging and it kind of like supports the whole uh message of my speaking you know about mindset and you know being one that wants to lift people up so why not do the same thing with a melody it, was this a massive collaboration or did you write the lyrics and put the music behind it how did that all come together well really quick when i first started speaking Dr. Jolly was the first speaker I ever met that could sing. And I was like, wow, that's the same background that I have. So of course, you know, from a mentor mentee perspective, I fell in love with the concept and I knew that some of my other talents would be instrumental in my, you know, uh, career. So I connected with him. And then again, fast forwarding again, many years later when I wrote this song, wrote the music, wrote the lyrics, and I was like, it would be just awesome if I could have him to do this duet with me. and. It happened. It was like gr perfect, you know? I, he's a regular guest here on Great Day Washington, too. I didn't know he sang. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wow. He sang in nightclubs and all kinds of things, and I did the same thing in New York. But who knows, you know? It's just a wonderful opportunity. Do you think you'll continue bringing your singing voice out more? Or are you going back into the speaking world? Like, what's next for you? Well, honestly, um, I will continue speaking. That is a true passion, but music has always been a part of my life. And uh, I'm working on some other projects with some, believe it or not, world renowned artists and producers that have done things far surpassing me. And I expect to share those in the near future. It sounds like you position yourself in the right spot, Sir Charles, to make it where you want to go. I am grateful. Trust me, I am literally grateful for every waking moment to do and use what has been given to me. We're about to play your song. Anything you want people to know about it before we let you take it away? Well, just look. Look at your life for what it is and be grateful for all the things you have and look beyond yourself because that's where our power comes.
Let's go.